Good morning, dear Torque News subscribers and visitors. I'm going to start the day with some good news about Tesla Semi because Tesla confirms that, actually Tesla executive confirms that Tesla Semi fleet is now almost 100 units. If you are here first time, please subscribe to this channel and give us thumbs up if you like this story that I'm about to tell you about Tesla Semi. Tesla Semi started its first uh, customer deliveries last year, but the vehicles were only delivered to one customer, if you remember, and that's PepsiCo. PepsiCo, Frito Lay, same thing. Since then, the Tesla Semi fleet has grown into almost 100 vehicles, as confirmed by Tesla Vice President of Vehicle Engineering, Lars Moravi. I'm talking about 100 Tesla Semis are already delivering goods in United States. Moravi and Tesla design chief Franz von Holthausen were recently featured in a pretty extensive episode of Jay Leno's Garage. The episode was focused on the Cybertruck, which uh, Jay Leno purchased for himself. Over the course of the episode, Moravi von Holthausen and Leno talked about a variety of topics from the Cybertruck's features to its performance on and off the road. Eventually, however, listen to this. The, the three automotive veterans discussion spilled over to Tesla's other projects, such as the Tesla Semi, the company's Class 8 all-electric truck. It's been a year since Tesla held the Semi's inaugural delivery event, and since then, the company has adopted a pretty conservative approach with the vehicle's ramp. As per comments from Moravi, Tesla has been working closely with PepsiCo to ensure that the Semi is ready for mass production. The Tesla VP noted that the Semi could very well see a production ramp sometime next year, and he also shared some interesting anecdotes about the Class 8 all-electric truck's initial concept. The original thought was we were going to use the batteries that were in the back of the trailer to power the semi to get there, the Fremont factory and Giga Nevada. Then we made it so efficient, we didn't need to do that. But we have close to 100 semis on our fleet now, and they're doing that run, and we're working with Pepsi as well to just understand the durability and get it right so we can go into volume production next year, Moravi said. So keep in mind, Tesla Semi volume production is starting next year in 2024. The Tesla Semi is not a mainstream vehicle, friends, but it is one of the company's products that could make a notable difference in the renewable energy transition. As noted by CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, during the Semi's first delivery event last year, Class 8 trucks only make up 1% of vehicles in the United States, but they contribute 20% of U.S. vehicle emissions and 36% of U.S. vehicle particulate uh, emissions. Transitioning to the Class 8 industry to electric could then have substantial benefits for the environment. So this is, I think, very really good news. 100 semi-trucks already on U.S. roads. What do you think? This is Armin Haria from TorqueTools.com. Please let me know in the comment section. Let's discuss how do you think Tesla semis or electric semi-trucks will affect the uh, our environment and trucking industry in general. What if one day Tesla puts uh, robots to drive the semi-trucks or even will there not be a need for that? They will drive by themselves. Well, let me know your thoughts, friends. Let's discuss that in the comment section below and visit us at torquenews.com for daily automotive news from Torque News. Have a great day.